Hey everyone, welcome back, it's Michelle here, and today I want to talk to you guys about my initial reaction and reasons behind why I'm backing the Peter McKinnon and Nomadic Collaboration Backpack. Now there are so many videos already out there explaining the cool things and features of the backpack so I'm not going to go over them but merely share my reasonings, the pro and cons that I kind of already made up in my head after watching the videos so many times of, of the backpack and why I decided to back it. So first things first, I think off the bat I am a huge fan of Peter McKinnon so with just that I trust in the things that he, that he recommends let alone things that he actually creates in. So just with that, that's a huge like green light and I know that this backpack, all the little accessory cases are going to be like quality, like they're going to be good. I trust him, right? Now going with Nomadic, I actually don't personally own any Nomadic backpacks or travel gear or anything like that. But again, I've heard a lot of good things about them. So when I first heard of this collaboration, I immediately, honestly, I think I went in two minutes of that Kickstarter video. I stopped the video, backed it, and then watched the whole entire video. That's how much like faith I have in both of those really, really cool people. Um, and so now, again, after watching so many videos of the backpack and what it looks like, obviously I don't have it with me. I have to wait just like the rest of everyone else uh, for it actually to ship out to me. But as a terrible backpack addict, you know, Peter McKinnon Nomadic, I blame you guys for feeding my addiction. I actually went out to already kind of organize the backpack uh, based on the things that I have and what I would use it for. I kind of already made little sketches of like where I would put specific things and how to organize it because that's one of the main reasons why I love camera backpacks, the different ways of organizing things. Now I won't dig too much into that because I'd love to make a video when I actually have the backpack of like what's inside my backpack, but let me go through kind of the pros and cons of this new awesome backpack that hopefully sometime in April we will we'll all get those who backed it up. So now I'm not going to go over every single feature that this backpack offers but one of the main reasons I absolutely fell in love with this backpack is the fact that I can carry both my laptop and my iPad. That is something that I can't really do with my Peak Design Everyday Backpack. Now I know that it technically has a slip in the back for the laptop and an iPad but when you have that backpack literally packed with camera gear, everything, it's very, very hard to fit either or the laptop or the iPad, let alone both. I don't want to damage either my anything really, but I don't want to damage the two most expensive pieces of technology that I have, my laptop and the iPad, by forcing it, jamming it in there. So I usually have to opt out which one do I want to carry more. Is it do I really want the iPad or do I want the laptop? So depending on where I'm going and where I'm headed and what I'm doing, that differs. So. Um, with this backpack, I'm going to be able to bring both of them, which is great for certain situations. When I go to the office, I really love to bring both just because it offers me another display. You know, Catalina, iPad, iOS, that side cart feature is amazing. So it offers me yet another display. Plus, I like to sketch certain things, especially if it's for work, for video work. I like to sketch out um, where I'm placing the camera, things like that. So I, I like having my iPad. I, it's one of the reasons why I bought it is so expensive, so I want to bring it with me wherever I go. So that I can't do with the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. So with just having that feature uh, on this new backpack makes it a really, really great option for me. Now going back to other backpacks that I have, um, I do have the AirTech pack, which yes, I could carry both a laptop and an iPad, but it's very hard to carry safely camera equipment because that's more for laptop work or school. And then I go with the Low Pro Pro Tactic, the same thing with the with the Peak Design. There's only one sleeve, so either the iPad or the laptop in there. And this thing is, I can't fit this in the actual main compartment of the backpack because everything else is in there. So with the fact that they specifically designed two places for a laptop and an iPad or two laptops or two iPads, um, is really, really awesome. It's something that I haven't seen in a lot of camera backpacks. I live here in Texas, so majority of the time it is freaking hot. And for work, I am outside a lot of the times, especially for recording. So it's, and it's in the middle of the day, especially during summer, it is terribly hot. 
So what I love about this new backpack is that it's gonna have enough room for an extra shirt because I sweat a lot when I'm outside having to carry, especially if I have to carry my gimbal in and out, be able to carry that, be able to carry my um, mis miscellaneous things. Um, I, one of my first, first pros that I wrote on here is I have room for snacks, priorities. So I'm really excited to be able to bring water bottle, a uh, couple of snacks, especially when I don't know when I'm gonna be able to leave for lunch. So that sort of stuff, that extra space for miscellaneous things is, is really important to me. I don't wanna have only room for camera stuff and that is it, which is kind of what I have right now going on with the Peak Design. And I keep going back to the Peak Design backpack because I use that every single day. That's been my backpack. Um, frequently for the last couple of months. I absolutely love it. I'm just saying it's small. I know it's a 20 liter. Now this is kind of drifting over to my con for this new backpack. Um, it's gonna be massive. I am five foot, maybe one. And this thing looks like it's gonna be bigger than the Low Pro Tactic 450. Um, so it's, it, it's gonna look like I have a suitcase on my back. So I'm trying to be okay with that. I mean, it is what it is. Obviously there's reasons for why and how I can fit everything that I need plus more. So, oh well, I may look ridiculous in it, but eh, I mean, what else is new? So I'm okay with that. Um, so if you see a small person with like a big, huge backpack, it'll, it'll literally just be me in my kindergarten days. I actually had a uh, Pocahontas bag for some reason, it was like tube shape. It wasn't just a normal backpack. It was tube shaped and it was probably the same height as me. And so I'm in like preschool or kindergarten, pretty much just dragging a backpack. So it's like uh, going back to my roots. Now to some another con for this backpack that may be the reason why you haven't backed it is the price. Especially if you go for the one of all option, that is $510. This will probably be the most expensive backpack that I have to date. Now the Peak Design backpack is expensive, right? But I bought that used, I think for, oh man, I, I already forgot how much I, I bought it for, $86? I don't remember. But used, so it's cheaper than what you know it originally sells for. The Low Pro Pro Tactic was about 190 something when I bought it, give or take. And then I think the most expensive to date that I have would be the AirTech pack. That thing was 200 bucks. But this one alone, if you just get the actual big, huge pack, um, I think it's gonna sell for what, $300, $399? Let me actually check that real quick. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Which by the way, this project on Kickstarter is almost at a million dollars. Not surprised at all, I mean, it's, freaking Peter McKinnon like come on so let's see here the boop, 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 boop. camera pack oh is okay so if you, I mean as of right now if you get it early bird which only three people left you know to back the early bird is $2.99 but they are gonna sell this backpack for $3.99 that's a $400 backpack that's twice as much as my air tech pack so this is going to be the most expensive backpack that i own so that's a hard pill to swallow but again i'm super excited i know it's going to be high quality now another reason why i backed and did the one of everything is that i'm really excited for the nd filter case um, that thing looks amazing the sd card case um, i love magnetic closures stuff the battery pouch thing that's going to be really helpful and just the fact that there's so many little specific like organization kits already in there uh for me i was just like what the hey might as well go for all of it um so i'm super excited to have this in my hands and actually get to review it get to use it put everything in it but i just kind of wanted to share my initial thoughts of this backpack because it's been one of the constant things that i've seen on youtube and i'm not gonna lie i think every night i watch the kickstarter uh video as kind of like, it's, I don't know, it, it helps me sleep better. I like have nice dreams of camera backpacks and organizing it. So <laughs> um, yeah, I, again, I have a terrible addiction to backpacks, which I've been doing so well, again, until they released this one, so thanks. But that was it. I wanted to quickly share kind of my initial thoughts, my 
pros and cons as of right now for this new backpack. It's really, really highly anticipated. I know I can't wait. Um, so please let me know down in the comments below which reward you've backed and why, or why you haven't backed it up in the first place. So again, this thing is almost at 1 million. I'll post the Kickstarter link down below, as well as Peter McKinnon's channel. I mean, everyone in the grandma, except my grandma, knows who Peter McKinnon is. So I'm very, very excited for him. This is gonna be awesome. April is going to be a really, really cool month. I'm gonna have to think of something amazing to do a really cool video of this backpack. So cool, really excited for the Nomadic team and Peter McKinnon. Awesome job, everyone. Um, so please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.